Hey everyone, what is up? It's Jay and this is going to be my video for the details on the new Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue trailer that was shown at the Tokyo Game Show. Literally, it was this morning and it was like 2 in the morning and I was sleeping. There's no way that I'm going to be watching it live. Anyway, um, a lot of stuff happened with my computer. Well, not really a lot, I guess. It didn't record correctly when I did my reaction video, and I can't give you guys a reaction video that's not a genuine one because that's really just stupid. It it would look completely fake, and I can't I can't fake a reaction. You know, it's it's just not something I'm able to do. So I'm not going to give that video out. But this is the video talking about the details. So this video is going to be somewhat long because uh, there's a lot to go through. Um, and I do have to do it this way on YouTube because I don't have anything else to do this on. Like, I don't have anything to um, go frame by frame on. So, I'm going to be doing it like this. Anyway, so, as we progress through the trailer, let's see. After this, this is just regular CG stuff. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's just Sora, Riku, and Kairi. And then it goes down to Aqua here. And that's pretty cool. Uh, th I really like the transition there, and it it's really odd that it went from underwater to this sea type thing, or I mean this um, galaxy looking type thing, and she's on top of water. That's actually kind of cool. Went from water to more water. Um, I don't know, but um, so she's holding the wayfinder. We all know why. And then she does that thing. This, um, if you guys remember in the other trailers. They all kind of do this. Like, um, Sora does this in Kingdom Hearts 1, I think. And then I think it happens, like, randomly throughout a couple of the other games, like, um, the intros of the games, the theme songs. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it's basically showing you that, you know, she's connected to Sora in some way. That's what I think, anyway. Um, and then she goes down to this oh god i forgot what they're called but yeah this thing where you basically where you uh pick uh, this thing over here where you you pick what is more important to you um and then you pick between the strength magic or defense um i, I just can't remember what they're called but it's like the, it's the dive to the heart thing but this specific area here i don't remember what it's called um but there is something that's really unique about this. Uh, this is not the one that Aqua goes to in Birth by Sleep. Because, well, first off, it couldn't be because it has Sora in it. Um, obviously, she wouldn't go to Sora's because Sora wasn't a Keyblade wielder when she was, or, or when she had her dive to the heart, or when they, you know, they did their thing. Um, so this isn't where Aqua would go. Um, but this also isn't where Sora went either. Uh, the cool thing is, is the only time, because Sora, when Sora went, it had one of the Disney princesses on it. I don't remember exactly which one. I think it was Belle, if I remember correctly. Um, but either way, uh, this isn't the one that he goes to either, because obviously he's not going to go to his own, it, like, or one with his picture on it, because he, he wasn't, you know, it, 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 I don't know. Anyway, but this one is actually Roxas's, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we got here as we continue on. Uh, oh, Dream Drop Distance stuff. I, I don't honestly care. Uh, the cool thing is that it's going to be um, 60 frames per second on PS4. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's not really that important to me because I've already played the game. So Anyway, so now we're going on to Birth by Sleep. Um, or 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. And this is the same as that cutscene we saw before except it looks a little bit nicer um they still look kind of dopey uh, mickey looks a lot better but he still looks kind of dopey Kyrie looks really odd she looks a little too skinny and her arms are a little weird so i don't know and then her hair just looks really well, i mean really all of it looks but um it looks really plasticky um it looks almost like she's actually wearing a cosplay wig so uh yeah that's a little odd but um Let's uh, move on. So, oh, then we see 
Aqua here. Oh, well, we missed it again. But we see Aqua. She's looking at... There we go. She's looking at the uh, castle. Uh, that's Cinderella. Well, technically, the prince, his castle. It's, it belongs to the prince, I guess. Um, but from the Cinderella world, the castle of dreams. So that's where this is. And the trailer we saw last time, she was actually going towards this castle. So this is just the same world, basically. And then, oh, we see her hit this gear here. And this gear, um, we learned in the the demo that well I didn't get to play it but other people did and we learned that hitting these gears here uh, turns back the clock which is right there and it turns back the clock because we see in the last trailer that the clock strikes you know what time I think it was it struck, it struck me now I'm not sure and then um, the road the, the bridge collapsed and you have to rebuild the bridge basically by turning back time and hitting those gears turns back time and rebuilds everything so and then oh so we go to th this is the castle of dreams entrance this is actually part of birth by sleep too um so we all know what this is it's just um this looks like it's inside the castle i'm not 100 percent anymore uh, this might be outside oh yeah i think this is outside you go through this door right here i think that's a door um no no this is inside this is the balcony because you walk up here and then you go through here and the balcony you can go all the way back around there was treasure chests down over here one of these sides um so this is inside the castle this is the ballroom up here so that's that's neat so i guess when she sees tara in here which is a figment of her imagination uh that tara is this is inside the castle so that's cool um, maybe the doors were already open to the castle because it was supposed to be when you go through a door It takes you to another world and that was what happened in the realm of darkness because everything kind of merged together and fused So when you go every time you go through a door You're getting going to a different world So you go into the castle and inside the castle should have been a different world And then when you beat that world you go outside of the castle and it's a whole nother world again so it's weird that she's inside so maybe the door was open and then Maybe you have to go through another door. See, it's all bright up here, so maybe the doors going to the ballroom are going to end up being where the next world is. So that'd be kind of cool. I would like to see that. So let's move on here. And you saw, well, basically this is all the dwarf woodlands. But here's um, uh, Ventus, and it looks like he's in the, the thing that Snow White is in. So, yeah, that's that's a little odd. I don't know why. I'm, I'm assuming that this is just like Terra and... Um, a figment of her imagination because it doesn't make any sense why he would be in here when he's actually in Castle Oblivion which is still a thing so because Castle Oblivion is still up they haven't there's been no word of that thing being taken down yet so he should still be in there somewhere um, so there's no reason he should be in here so I think she's seeing things um, I have to, oops not like that oh I can just do it here so now we see Aqua walking in. Oh, this is um where the magic mirror is over here. This is the this is like uh, the magic mirror um, from Snow White for the the evil queen's mirror. So um, in a minute we're going to be well in a few seconds probably um, we're going to see something else. And this yeah this is um this is still the woodlands I think. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Either that or it's a third world. I'm not 100% on this. Because I don't remember. But I do remember the Dwarf Woodlands. Um, pretty sure that's where it was. Where they had like, this little dark area and you had to fight this pumpkin thing. No, that was Castle of Dreams. So that's... I have no idea. I haven't played it in so long. I have to play it again. Anyway, let's move on. So, oh, here's some um, back cover stuff um, this is gonna be cool so I don't really know a lot of what's going on here because I don't I haven't played key or unchained key because I can't play key it's Japanese and I can't play unchained key because I'm lazy <laughs> it's on my tablet but I just never play it so now here we see the wayfinder falling into aqua's hand and then it also shows Terra and Ventus 
Um, but then they disappear because both of them are gone. And this is also probably, uh, I don't think this is a figment of her imagination here. Um, what I think this is, is just the CG opening thing. Like these are, th this is kind of explaining what happened in the quickest way possible. Kind of like how in Kingdom Hearts 2, it showed um, Sora running up the steps and then it showed Riku running down the steps for the Chain of Memories area. And then it showed uh, Sora fighting Marluxia really fast and it's just like hey these are just events that happened um this is just telling you the the quickest way we can tell you the story so that might be what this is um showing you that them two aren't around anymore uh that they're both lost to where to whatever um Terra's wherever the fuck Terra is and Ventus is in the coma so they're both kind of gone um for now and this looks really really sharp um I really like the way they look like this. Problem is, is that's CG. That's not how they're going to look in game. So that sucks. So here, this is pretty cool. I really like this. Um, these little things of, these little clouds of darkness are going towards these pillars here. And if you notice, it's really hard to get a, get a good, oh, there's a good look of these, but um, really hard to get a good look at what these are but they are the thrones in the um, throne room that, I, what I call it, um, round room, I think is what it's also called, um, where the Organization 13 has all their meetings. So these are these are the chairs. And you'll notice like this one right here, uh, these orbs are going to the chairs. Some of them are, not all of them. I don't think all of them go to the chairs before the, the transition, but it shows them like, like see that one landed on that chair. This one's now landing towards another chair. So this one's on a chair right there. This one's on this chair. So those, yo, here you can get a really good look now. Now you can really tell that this is what it is. This is a nobody symbol right here. This is where the, the actual chair is. These are the arms of the chair. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, th that's what these are. And we're assuming that these lights here, there's six here. There's, a, I think there's gonna be like nine or 10 of them. At, by before the transition um, and we think that they're the fragments of Xehanort so because they're going towards the chairs and the only people that need to be sitting in those chairs are the uh, 13 Seekers of Darkness so that's what I'm assuming I don't know and then we transition to an evil looking Ventus and Terra Xehanort or I call him Terra Hort I don't know if anyone else actually calls him that but I do, so Atlas started calling him that too, and it's kind of funny. Um, but you can see that, let me see if I can, there we go. You can see, obviously this is uh, Terra Hort because he's got the white hair and uh, Xehanort's Keyblade. And that's what he looks like when you fight him as Aqua uh, during Birth by Sleep. And then here's Ventus looking all evil and, and shit um, with the uh, Vanitas look to him. And he's got the X-Blade Keyblade thing, um, which is pronounced X-Blade. So that's, or which is pronounced Keyblade, sorry. Uh, that's pretty neat. Um, I think that happens in Birth by Sleep 2, where I think as Aqua you have to fight Ventus looking like Vanitas, you know, that kind of thing. I think that's a thing, I don't remember. It's been a while. So she's reaching out towards them and then they go to attack her. And that, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna set that as my uh, background for a while. <laughs> I need I need a new background for my computer. It's just uh, it's my um, MSI gaming background <laughs> that came with my motherboard, I think. Uh, anyway, but so you can clearly now see that this is Terra Hort and that this is uh, Vanitas Ventus nearing the end of Birth by Sleep. So that's pretty neat. I like that. Here's they they're attacking her, and we don't know if she's like flying backwards or if she actually got hit. Ugh. Oh my God, that is also. Uh, really good for wallpaper. Oh my god, I might have to do that one too. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's the end of that part, and then it goes to Dream Drop Distance stuff. And then I uh, like this. It tells you what the stop it. it tells you what the what the remix is. So that's cool. And I don't think it ever told us that in, in any of the uh, any of the trailers. But this is a simple and clean Ray of Hope mix, which is really awesome. And this is obviously with Bye. That's the same person who sings all the other ones. And it's just a remix of her song. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we, yeah, just Dream Drop Distance stuff. We already know. 
If you've played the game, you kind of already understand that. And this is pretty cool. So I actually watched um, part of another one by HMK who did this too. And that's where I was talking about the whole frame by frame movement earlier. And because uh, he can move it frame by frame and I don't have a program that'll do that. Um, but he noticed that over here in, in, the, in the, the heads up display, there's no drop meter. So what does that mean? Is this going to be like Chain of Memories, or I mean Re-Chain of Memories, where we play both stories separately, we have to like finish Sora's story separate from Riku's story? Um, because the whole point of this, like the, the Chain of Memories one didn't really matter if you played them both separate, because they were both very different stories. They were both their own little thing. This, uh, even though they're, on their, they're both their own little thing, they're still connected by like Joshua from... Um, here in Traverse Town from the World Ends With You um, and he he talks to both of you at the same time so it makes a lot of sense but I don't know maybe we'll, we'll see so this is really cool looking I really like all these uh, all, all these attacks they're doing okay so um, this is another part from earlier where Ventus is in that thing See, he's, in, he's still in that, that thing. So this must be right before the other one. Like, she runs up to it, finds it like this, and then she kneels down to go, like, embrace what she thinks is actually Ventus in this thing. And that's the scene we saw earlier. Uh, so that's what I'm probably thinking. And then she, he's probably going to disappear and she's going to, like, fall to the floor or something. Um, that, just, that just screams that that's going to happen. But... Um, anyway, so let's move on from here. So now, okay, now this part is really cool. Uh, I, I was, I really actually had to think on this, and I actually figured it out before I watched HMK's video, which is kind of weird because usually I get some information from him that I didn't know, so that was odd. And this is the magic mirror from earlier from the uh, dwarf woodlands, and she she sees her her reflection, which is probably also another trick from the realm of darkness because you're still in the realm of darkness and it's trying to attack her 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 reflection is attacking her so that's kind of cool um so this means we're gonna have to fight and it actually shows you later on you're gonna have to fight this um other this other aqua this uh this one this this shadow aqua i guess would be the it'd be like that like when you're fighting like uh, shadow sora and shadow roxas and stuff like that it's gonna be the same as that probably um, but it does show the fight a little differently. And you'll see that in a minute here. So then we move on to um, key back cover and we have the Master of Masters who's, he's already been confirmed. Um, this this is pretty much the same scene as before. Um, it's like a continuation of that scene. It's either before or after, I'm not exactly sure. But it's in the same area, like the same location as from the last trailer. So that's that's that I guess um, then I noticed something different about these though these while they're also organization 13 jackets they have different zippers these zippers it looks like a little blade right here but this part the part that I'm outlining is an unversed symbol I think pretty sure that's an unversed symbol that's crazy so that that could have a connection I don't, I don't know how though. Look at that CG, man. That looked great. I think this is the Kingdom Shader. So I don't, I don't know too much about what's going on here. Um, all I know is that they're talking about like the traitor stuff um, for whoever's the traitor in the group, and you know that's the bad guy obviously in the group. He's, he's the one who did be distrusted, and they're trying to figure out who it is. They're trying to make like alliances and stuff, but um, I'll, we'll figure out more when the game comes out because. That's that's something I'll just have to, to figure out on my own. Um, anyway, this is pretty cool. This is the Dwarf Woodlands again. This is the mine, uh, like where they're working. And I really like this. So the, the uh, Realm of Darkness has busted it up into this like big trail. And um, the background looks pretty cool. Uh, it's all crystally. That kind of looks like it would be a mine shaft type thing, which is pretty neat. And the cool thing is, is have you, if you guys have ever played Kingdom Hearts 1, there was a mini game that people really liked in a world that people didn't really like. And that was in the Tarzan world, Deep Jungle, and they had the, uh, I think it was a 
jungle slider or something or something it was called it was a slider and you would slide down a branch in like um kind of like the winnie the pooh games on on the kingdom hearts 2 um where you would uh you'd be rolling around you'd be like uh gliding down um in third person view just like this just like you're seeing here and it would be running forward on its own but it'd be, he'd be like sliding and it'd be going forward on its own and you would control left right and jump so that's what this is right here if you look she's sliding and it looks like you're gonna have to slide throughout the whole thing but it only gives us a split second so i'm not exactly sure and then here we have her doing um blizzard attacks obviously it's blizzaga it says right there <laughs> so uh, we know she's using blizzaga but the cool thing is is after this so she does a couple of those and then we get this right here so let me go oh i missed it there we go okay so it says blizzard gun that's a little odd we haven't heard that before we've heard of blizzaga because i mean that's what she's that's one of the attacks that's a real attack and uh yeah, so I, I don't know, but this is a triangle attack, and we've seen these earlier in the um, in the trailer before this with a different attack. So this will probably be the same thing, and you get 20 seconds to use this one. I think the other one was was 30 seconds, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. They could have tweaked it too to make it so that it's 20 seconds. Um, I don't know, or maybe maybe I'm just getting it late because I can't read. Yeah, it must be 20 seconds, but that's pretty neat so you're probably gonna get that with all of your magic attacks you're probably gonna have this one like a magic special attack i guess uh, that'd be neat uh that'd replace like the finisher moves i guess if you i don't know if we're gonna have really real finisher moves um but then she's using um viagra here uh for viraga god i can never pronounce that and then she's using thundaga here and the Thundaga in this game is just awesome. I like how it spreads out like that. Um, just personal, personal uh, favorite there. <laughs> I've always loved the, the lightning attacks, the thunder, the thunder, even though it's lightning. Um, so then here, okay, this is what I was talking about earlier with the magic mirror thing. This is the magic mirror fight. If you remember in Breath by Sleep, this room is the magic mirror room where you fight the magic mirror. And that this is the same room where we just saw her here if you can see yeah you can see that it's the same room you can see in the background there looks just like that so this is the same room as the magic mirror that she was in when she saw her reflection and one of these is her reflection and they're actually all around her and they shoot at her they sh yeah, let's see if i can get it that was better at least but you can see from all sides they shot at her so they're all and you can see right here too these lines that show that they shot at her um they they all from around her looks like one two three four five six seven eight there's so there's eight of them around her which is really weird um but that's just like how the magic mirror was and then you have to find the real one and hit it obviously like that and then it'll obviously probably just turn into one and then here uh, this is i don't know where this is but this is this is awesome looking um so this this is cool so she hits this pillar right um you attack this pillar and basically i guess you would it, it wouldn't be an hp bar because you don't see an hp bar up here which everything else you did so oh speaking of hp bars something else i forgot oh you guys can't see it very well well i'll, I'll let it um not have that oh it's gonna have that around it the whole time never mind um but the hp bar looks a little bit different but that's just that's that's nothing really so okay back to here so she's gonna hit this and it's actually going to break and open up and when it opens up something weird happens so you can see it's like lighting up like that and there so it opened up and kind of see here here it's opened here and here and now you're on the other side of the world you're like upside down and you play upside down <laughs> that's gonna suck i'm gonna not want to do that you know the funny thing is, is i could probably just flip the tv over and just play it normal <laughs> just just to beat it um that'd, that'd be funny 
But uh, yeah, that's going to be a little on the difficult side to do. But it looks like um, we have some reaction commands coming back. So for sure we have the reaction command for opening chests right here. So that's going to be coming back to open up this chest here. So people were speculating that um, reaction commands could be coming back. And it looks like they are a little bit. So we don't know if there's going to actually be the um, attack ones or the defense ones that were like in the middle of battles that um, trigger when certain enemies do certain attacks. Like when, uh, I don't know, when the uh, what, what the thing you fight with Roxas, uh, Thorn something, something Thorn, um, when that thing is like throwing its arms at you, you have the reaction command to uh, block it or hit it or whatever it does. Um, like that in, in a battle, it's triggered. So you, we might have some of those. I don't know. Um, but this one's back for sure. So there, there must be other stuff we can do with triangle. Like triangle must also be the talk button. So um, like when you go up to a companion to talk to them or someone else in the world to talk to, then it's going to be triangle rather than in Kingdom Hearts 1 where you had to physically like go down to the bottom to, to talk to people, to, to the, um, the bottom of the commands. So that'd be nice. Um, let's see. And then, okay, so we got more of this. We have uh, uh, Urs uh, was Ursus and... Is that the, le the leopard one? <laughs> I can't remember those names. Lepardus, I think. Yeah. The, and then um, Vulpus talking to someone. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, um, the snake one. <laughs> I don't know these names. I'm, I'm terrible with names. Um, so here, this is the first time we see this. There's two people in organization codes. So they actually, they, this isn't new is <laughs> is new as it looks it's not really new uh, we just haven't seen them together before so uh this is the master of masters who was talking uh, back here somewhere where, <laughs> where he was talking to um uh, unicornus uh, and he was in the last trailer that's this guy this guy however is Luxu or something. We don't, it's L-U-X-U. -U. We don't know exactly how to pronounce it yet. We've just seen it in writing. So that's who this guy is. And he's the, we're assuming, he's the original owner of Xehanort's Keyblade. And we think this is how Xehanort got the Keyblade um, from him, maybe. We don't know what's going on. This is not explained. We will find out soon enough. Um, but Luxu is the uh, sixth apprentice to the Master of Masters. The other five are the foretellers, the, the guys in the masks and the hoods. Um, these guys. <laughs> yeah, those guys are the other apprentices. He's the sixth one. So he has been tasked with like watching over these guys and seeing what's happening, what they're doing. So um, basically he's getting instruction from him, it looks like. And then um, we see that he's got Xehanort's Keyblade, obviously. So that's cool. That shows the Heartless, though. Um, so we know this is the Book of Prophecies because of this, um, and well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We've, we've seen the Book of Prophecies before, um, and we saw that there was a Heartless in it. So, and this is kind of, this isn't even the middle of the book, it looks like. It looks like he's like a little bit past the middle of the book. So this must be, like, um, around when the Heartless started coming to be, um, when they got created in um, Ansem's laboratory or whatever, or however that happened. Um, it was Xehanort and all that. Um, let's see, let's go on. See, okay, here we go. Here's this again. This is what I was talking about. Maybe it's not what I thought it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now that I think about it, is that the same as what's on Ventus, Terra, and Aqua? Just a little different looking? So that might be what that is. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember what the um, the other one looks like. The uh, uh, the bat the baddies in Birth by Sleep uh, unversed um, because they, they're all jaggedy looking like that. So I don't know. I guess we're gonna. I think this is just a small detail that just looks really cool. Um, it probably has nothing to do with anything, but I guess. Um, okay, so now we see Aqua falling again, and her Wayfinder falling out of her hand. 
Now Mickey catches it. Now this is kind of cool. Um, this must have happened before back here where we saw um, like oh god I really wish it was easier to go back to these where we saw Mickey and Riku and Kairi talking to Yen Sid that would have been after this uh, Mickey says in that part of the, well in the trailer that was prior to this and in a few trailers prior the yeah, few trailers prior to this uh, he said that he met Aqua in the realm of darkness um, but didn't come back with her so I'm thinking that's what this is so he he sees her in the meets her here maybe you fight together and then um, then Mickey leaves I don't know uh, we're assuming there's a reason that he didn't come back with her but I'm not gonna really get into that I guess um, no one knows why so then it comes to here and there's all these dark sides I think that's what they're called dark side and this giant ball of energy so this part I did see in HMK's video and he did get something wrong so you'll be able to see that they're all bringing up these little orbs of light here and there are orbs of whatever the fuck they are darkness I don't know um, and they're all going up towards this bigger one so HMK was counting these but I too was counting them in his better slow motion and he counted 12 and then this one has 13. I actually counted 13 smaller ones. Let's see if I can do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, 8. 9. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and i think this is split into two for thirteen i can't tell um but i'm i swear i counted 13 of them um so that might represent the 13 seekers of darkness so that could be pretty cool because they're they're dark sides they're darkness pretty much they're like your nightmare made real type thing that's what kind of what it said in kingdom hearts one um so now we got uh, the logo and the release date. Oh, I said that a little early. The release date is going to be January 24th, 2017. Now, you were told on the last trailer that it was releasing in December. Why do they do this? Uh, this is actually not bad. Um, I, I would rather have it released a little bit later. I'm actually buying other games that are using my money that would not be going towards this game. So I would rather be able to purchase this when I have the money. So this way I'll at least have more money to purchase it. And I might even be able to get a limited edition depending on how things go. So anyway, that is my detail thing video for this trailer. It's not as professional as my other ones because I'm trying this a new way. I'm actually on open broadcast software doing this. So I'm doing so like I'm doing obviously all this stuff with the mouse live. So hopefully I can keep doing this or hopefully I can get something to do the frame by frame. I don't know how to do that. If any of you guys know, let me know because I would love to be able to do it that way rather than this way because I don't like having the scroll bar show up. It's really annoying. Um, but anyway, that is all. Like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys later.